Hello everyone. In this video, let's talk about twiddling the racket during the game. I mean the situation when you rotate the racket and play with the other side. What benefit does this bring to pips players and anti-spin players? And what problems does it pose for their opponents? So, let's say you have pips in rubber on one side or short pips. For simplicity, I'll refer to it as pips in rubber. And on the other side, you have long pips or anti-spin or medium pips on a thin sponge with a high disruptive effect. For simplicity, let's call all of it pips. So, on the right side, you have pips in rubber, and on the left, pips. Smart opponents will start serving fast, long diagonal serves without spin into your pips. And this is the most uncomfortable option for you. Most likely, you will return the long ball without spin. And the opponent will be ready to make a topspin shot in advance. For the opponent, this is convenient, and overall, they end up in a more advantageous situation. And this will happen with every serve. Of course, you can try to respond with pips briefly and low, but it's difficult. There is a high risk of hitting the net or sending the ball too high. So most likely, it will happen as I mentioned earlier. And this will continue endlessly with all opponents who want to win and aren't foolish. What to do in such a situation? Learn to quickly twiddle the racket and play with the other side. This way, you can play a fast counter drive or topspin against such a long serve. Or you can step back and make a strong chop. The strong backspin won't be an easy ball for the opponent, and in the case of your attack, they won't be in an advantageous position anymore. Plus, in this situation, the opponent will know that you are twiddling the racket and can play differently. And so, he won't feel as comfortable and confident and he won't be fully prepared for your return. By the way, while I'm sharing this secret information with you, please press like on this video and subscribe to our channel. So, the first reason to twiddle the racket during the game is to cover the weak side of the pips, which attacking opponents can exploit. Next, you want to become stronger and beat opponents more often. So, here's idea number two. Balls from pips in rubber and from pips fly differently. For example, if the opponent makes a topspin shot, you can block it with pips in rubber or with pips. The ball will fly differently towards the opponent. Or if the opponent chops the ball, you can chop it back with pips or with pips in rubber. The ball will fly differently. Or you can make a counter drive or a topspin. Or during a pushing, you can move the racket sideways. If you do this with pips in rubber, the ball will be significantly different from the situation when you play with pips and the opponent will have to take this into account. Different balls need to be handled differently. First, you need to be able to do it. Secondly, you need to quickly understand what you played with and what kind of ball came, and decide how to play it. So, here's the second reason why you should twiddle the racket during the game, your game becomes much more difficult for the opponent. He can't just stand at the table and confidently attack you with top spins. He is forced to concentrate to the maximum, watch what you are doing and with which rubber you are doing it. They are forced to think and guess what is coming to them. He is forced to take risks and what if they guessed wrong and the ball falls into the net. The opponent will be less confident, slower and unable to confidently pressure you with attacks and finishing shots. In other words, your competitiveness increases and the balance of power changes. The whole picture of the game and the final result change. If you started twiddling the racket and playing with both rubbers on both sides, then you became noticeably stronger as a player. Be why the way, I remind you that in our store, we select rubbers and blades that are the best in terms of their characteristics. And we filter out mediocre ones. So, come to our store more often for shopping. Next, what else happens if you start twiddling the racket and playing with both rubbers on both sides? Your game becomes more diverse. I mean, the number of technical moves you make increases. And as a result, the entire gameplay changes. It becomes more diverse. Simply put, if you don't twiddle the racket, your attacking opponent will mainly attack you, and you'll have to block or defend with chops. Minimal variety. If you twiddle the racket and play with both rubbers on both sides, you perform twice as many technical elements. The balance of power is changing, you are already less defended, more often push at the table with different movements, breed the opponent on the sides, play brief or long, attack, defend, 
do block and finish. You have the opportunity to constantly come up with how to play, where to attack, where to defend, when to slow down the game, when to speed it up. This is already a creative process, not just monotonous defense, when the opponent constantly attacks you, and you're forced to simply return the ball to the table for them to attack again. The whole gameplay changes overall. So, here's the third reason to start twiddling the racket and playing with both sides of the racket, it will be much more interesting for you to play. And therefore, you will derive much more pleasure from the game process. It's like always drinking either water or black tea and that's it. Or to drink water, black and green tea of different varieties, champagne, white wine, red wine, blue and green wine, juices, beer, coca-cola, and other harmful but enjoyable drinks. Choose what you like and want. Well, the last reason to twiddle the racket during the game. I hope pips in rubber players won't curse me for telling all this. So, listen. When you twiddle the racket often, the opponent doesn't always notice it. For example, you chop near the table with pips in rubber or pips. The opponent didn't notice and hit the net. And after that, there's a grimace of disappointment on his face. Or the opponent bounced the ball too high, and with quiet curses, bounce off the table while you powerfully finish. Or, for example, you block a topspin with pips in rubber or pips. I assure you, the opponent will make mistakes. Or he won't be able to attack and will be forced to passively return the ball. Or he won't even touch the ball. You'll see all this, and it will be fun for you. So, here are the fourth and fifth reasons to twiddle the racket and play with both sides on both sides, you can deceive the opponent. You can build your game on cunning and trickery. It's interesting. You'll see how the opponent makes mistakes, how he glitch, how he lose confidence, how he lose the ability to attack and how he start playing passively. How he angrily curse your pips or laugh at these situations, it depends on the opponent. You'll see all this, and it will be fun for you. You'll get more enjoyment during the game and experience maximum emotions. And as a final note, I offer my deepest apologies to pips in rubber players for all this. But it's your own fault. Outside of table tennis, you good guys. But at the table tennis table, you start extinguishing us with your topspins and turning us into cutlets. So we, pips players, are forced to take measures and disrupt your game with our pips and anti-spin rubbers. That's all. If you have any questions about pips and anti-spin rubbers, ask them in the comments below the video. Bye for now.